Chikunga revealed that trading among African nations stands at less than 16 percent in comparison with trading between Africa and the European region, which is over 75 percent. As South African nations and region, we must unlock the value of the transport sector as an enabler to redouble our efforts to improve our inter and intra-African trade. It is today's reality that trading amongst ourselves as African stands, as Africans, it stands at less than 16% in comparison with the Eurozone, which has over 75% inter and intra-Eurozone trading. Chikonga therefore says the transport sector has the capacity to bring change, especially access to infrastructure, to ensure that intra-regional for Africa trade is efficient, effective, and driven by the competitiveness of industries. She believes that the Trans-Kalahari Corridor will make an immense contribution to unlock Africa's trading markets and contribute to the Africa continental free trade area. Botswana Minister of Transport and Public Eric Molale called for the member states to take care of the TKC infrastructure. And in the case of the trans kalahari Corridor, a lot of investment has gone into that. We already have a road. But it is the issue around how we take care of that road, how we use that road, and what benefits do our nationals accrue from the use of that road or that road passing through their, their settlement. Namibia's Works Minister John Mutora commended the member states for working together in ensuring the TKC remains effective. The common vision of the new Partnership for Africa's development is to eradicate poverty and place their countries, three countries, both individually and collectively, on a path of sustainable growth and development. The member states to the TKC are Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. Yoleni Shiapela. NBC News, Vanduk.